it is the same for everyone. All right, so before we get started, um, I hope everyone is settled down and you're all excited and ready. Don't forget that you can invite your family and friends to this show because it's open for everyone. And we will be showing you a few dishes today from several of our advisors. So um, just a quick introduction. I have been a Thermomix fan since the past one and a half years plus and also a passionate advisor because I love it so much. So that's why I'm here to share with you today all the amazing things that you can get from one smart lifestyle kitchen assistant. All right, so just a quick introduction. Just wondering how many of you are first time watching um, our show or if this is your first time, please drop one in the comment. And if this is your second time or if you have been watching many, many times, drop a number two in the comment. All right. Okay, why don't you see one? Ah, I see. Hi, Toby. Oh, hi, Roy. Nice to see you all. Okay, I'm not sure who's Galaxy, but hi, hi, and welcome, everyone. I'm sure you all are so excited to see what we have in store for you, right? Okay, so as I already um, explained, my journey with Thermomix was one that, um, just like you, um, however, I was so excited to, to know and about Thermomix. I didn't even watch a demo. I just did my research and I called Olivia and I told her I want my Thermomix right now. And I actually got it right away and I joined as an advisor right away. And there is no regret. Now, honestly, if anyone takes my Thermomix away, I'm going to be so furious. Okay, so... Just a quick, um, we'll have a very interactive session. So you can drop any questions in the comment box. Um, our friendly advisors will assist you. And at the same time, you know, we will have a great interaction. So why don't you write in the comment box, what is important to you when cooking? Is it saving money? Is it cost saving because you always order out and you want to save money? Or is it reliably easy because, you know, I know most of us lead a very busy lifestyle, so we want something which is fast and easy. Or is it something healthy? Are you looking for um, a healthier option? And or is it something creative? Would you like, you know, to learn and expand your culinary skills for those of you who are, you know, experts in cooking? Or is it time saving? For me, I'll be very honest, it's more or less all of the above. Um, recently, my husband did a checkup and he has got like high cholesterol, diabetes, everything under the sun. So that is why we are changing our lifestyle and we're trying to lead a better, healthier lifestyle. And also, I never cooked. Seriously, I never cooked before. My husband does the cooking. My mom does the cooking, so I don't have to cook. So I used to order a lot and honestly, it costs so much to order food from outside. Just the delivery charges is more than 10 ringgit. Ridiculous. And I just wanted something that was fast, easy and also creative because, you know, you see all this fine dining. It looks so fancy and you spend so much of money just for like this much of food. That's not food for me because I need to eat a lot. Okay, so Thermomix is a German um, quality worldwide um, product so you know that you're getting the best out of the best and of course we are the pioneers so we have so many patents and breakthrough and even um, internationally record and uh, award recognition on top of that so it's been around since the 1883 that's like 135 years ago so if you see here you will see um, how the thermal mix has basically um, evolved and how it has you know changed as a personal kitchen assistant and how once it was just known as a blender then it actually grew on um, because in Europe you know during winter people always drink soup so they were trying to figure out how do you blend soup and at the same time keep it warm so such a genius they invented and it has come along and you will see some of this um, earlier models the TM21 in the 2000s and even the TM31, I know there are so many customers out there who still have a TM2031 and it is so that just goes to show what kind of uh, product that you are purchasing. It's not one 
that you know it's just short term it's a long term product that you are really investing and of course we are the best world seller all in one previously it was 20 functions now it's 24 functions and it just keeps adding on like uh, recently we just had um the peeler mode so basically what it does is, and automatically you will see the function in there. So it's so amazing because many people ask, oh, do you think there'll be another Thermomix machine coming out? So that's your answer, not anytime soon. So we're going to discover the whole Thermomix, what the whole thing comes with. So while we discover, I'm going to start on my creamy chicken curry dish. Now, how many of you have made uh, chicken curry? Why don't you drop in the comment? And how many of you just like, just the thought of making curry is like, oh no, the potatoing it and then leaving it and then waiting, it's not sure whether the curry is done or not. You know, it's such a long process, but then you just go to the restaurant and eat it, right? Well, that was me. <laughs> and honestly, I am going to be so honest right now. I have never made chicken curry until recently. My six-year-old daughter has made chicken curry even before me. So today, I decided to save face and to teach y'all and show y'all the amazingness of how easy it is to make chicken curry. All right, so this um, creamy is the cookie dough. My partners will explain to you later on what it is basically it's an online um, built-in recipe so i can just retrieve it directly okay and instead of like eating it with rice this recipe has asked me to eat it with cauliflower so it's like a cauliflower rice so very very interesting and it's actually a new recipe for me so i've got my cauliflower here so i'm just going to literally and okay, if you can see over here, there's actually a built-in weighing scale itself. So this built-in weighing scale, it's so precise by the gram. All right, so I'm just going to put everything in here on my cauliflower. That's just literally. See how wonderful I'm outside my balcony and still cooking chicken curry. Okay, so this mixing bowl is 2.2 liters, in case you're wondering. It's stainless steel. And the motto is really, really strong. So it goes up to 40 RPM to 10,700 RPM. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to cover it. Now over here, we have the measuring cup. If you can see closely, can you see there's the numbers there? All right. Wait. Okay. That, that's the 50 ml and that's the 100 ml. So in case if you want to measure anything, you can always use this to measure as well. Very smart. Okay, so I'm going to cover it. Okay, click next. That's how easy it is. Everything is just next, next, next. So that's why I say even my six-year-old also can cook because she knows how to click next. All right, so now for speed five, what it's going to do is it's just going to um, like blend the cauliflower. So I'm going to go to speed five. And I'm not sure if you can hear the sound. Okay, so if you hear any of your neighbors have that sound, then you know that they have a thermomix. Ah, <laughs> okay. So just like that, let me show you. Ta-da! My cauliflower has been blended. So I saved one kitchen appliance. I don't have to take out the blender. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the Varoma. Okay, so next I'm going to show you what the Varoma is. So this Varoma, what it does is it's actually 3.3, oh, sorry. The Varoma is 3.3 liters and it comes with the lid. Okay, the newer versions will have the black cover, but black color, see through, all same thing. Okay, this is the tray and this is the Varoma bowl. So for instance, if let's just say you want to cook chicken rice, you can cook the chicken in here. And then you can cook the veggie on top here and you cover and you place it on top and you will have multi-layer cooking, which is what I will show you in a while because that's how I'm going to cook my cauliflower. So, okay. I have my cauliflower here and I'm just going to like put it on top. See, maybe I can put it at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put it on top here. Okay, and later on, we're going to steam it. 
Now, this is called the spatula. So whenever you need to scrape the side, okay, like now, for example, so I'm going to scrape my side. Okay, scrape my side. I'm going to transfer it to the mix, uh, mixing bowl plug, to the varoma. All right, transfer it in here. That's done. Okay, then we place it back on top. Okay. So this is done. I'm just going to put this aside. We will come back to it in a while. Okay, so now this spatula, if you see there's a hook here. So what you do with the hook is, this is called a simmering basket. So, for example, if you want to cook uh, low GI rice, that means low, low glycemic index rice, rice with less starch, sugar in it, for those who are diabetic, you want to lead a better, um, you know, some of us, I think we buy the, what's that, parboiled rice or one of those rice, I can't remember. So, you cook the rice in here, you place it inside the bowl so the water will be in here so what happens is the water that is left in there that is the starch water so that's where all your um, glucose and everything is so when you have your rice your rice is in here and low gi rice see very healthy then the water you can use for your plants very healthy as well okay so you just use this part and you hook it in here just like that so when it's hot after it's done, you want to do like multi-layer cooking. You want to cook your potatoes. You can also put your potatoes in here. You can and cook it. So you just leave it in here. So for example, here can be your soup. Here can be your rice. Here can be your potato. And then on top, you can cook your chicken, your meat, whatever. All right. So let's get back to our uh, recipe. Okay. All right. I'm going to skip all of that. Okay. So next is what we call the butterfly whisk. So this butterfly whisk, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is, you see the, the blade? So you just place it in here, just like that. So you don't have to remove the blade. Now, the purpose of this butterfly whisk is, for example, if you want to make pavlova, which one of our advisors will be showing you later, nasi goreng, um, what is that called? Kaya. How many of you have made your own homemade kaya? Ah, let me know in the comment. I want to see how many of you have made your homemade kaya. It is so easy to make your homemade kaya and the temperature is, the temperature, the texture is just perfect. Anasi. Okay, and then um, next. So we're going to add in the ginger. Okay, got my ginger here. So as you can see, I very malas. So I never like chop chop nicely. I just like cut cut. So my gingers are big and huge. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to place them in. Okay, then go next. Okay, one garlic clove. Even the garlic skin, you can actually also remove using the thermomix. So you don't have to get your hands all smelly. Okay, and then I'm going to use some green chili. Make it a little bit spicy. But green chili, not so spicy. Okay, and then insert the measuring cup. Next, and add... Speed seven for three seconds, it's chopping. So, like I mentioned again, we do not need to take out the blender. Okay, it has already been blended for you. I will just show you. Ta -da. Look at how fine it is. Wonderful. Okay. Whoa, the smell. Very nice. Okay, and next we've got the onions. I'm going to chuck the onion in. Okay, next I'm going to add in the olive oil. Okay. All right, so we go next. Okay, close. Now, what we have next, um, this is called the flash cut. So this flash card, the reason why um, it's covered in the center is that so that whenever you do high temperature cooking, it does not splatter all over. And the holes at the side here um, allows the vapor to come out. Okay. All right. I'm just going to place it on top. And this is on the high temperature mode. 
So for the next few minutes, it's going to cook while I explain further to you. Okay, so basically you have seen um, all the different, um, what is it, accessories that comes with the thermomix. It's a high quality German motor, so you know that you're getting the best out of the best. It has a touch screen, 6.8 touch screen colored CD, so just like our smartphones, very, very smart and really, really useful. And like I said, from time to time, we actually have updates with it. So how do you own this amazing super kitchen assistant? Very easy. So there's three options for you. One, you can either do a full payment. So my advisor will explain to you later what is the perks of you doing a full payment at the end. You have two gifts that especially for you. The original price is 718. Uh, 7188 and we have a 200 ringgit cash voucher so which means it only comes to 6988 and when you divide it divide it divide it because we have installment plans it's only nine ringgit a day remember i told you how much it costs for delivery service 10 ringgit this is only nine ringgit a day okay like if you order food from out, it's like, you know, 10 ringgit for only one meal. And on top of that, you're not paying for your meal. It comes up to 50 ringgit. You save so much. Trust me. And with the extra money, you can actually buy proper groceries and, you know, cook it. And you can actually taste and see the difference. So what it's doing right now is it's actually cooking um, all the ingredients. It's now, I can hear it sizzling. I think you can also see the steam coming out as well. It smells so good here. Not sure about my neighbor, but yeah. So the other way that you can earn your thermomix is you can get it for free. You can get this thermomix for free. So if you're interested to know how, join us as an advisor or ask your advisor that invited you here and we will explain to you further. Okay, so it's one thermomix that does it all. All right, so now let's see in the comment box, okay? Let me know how many kitchen appliances do you roughly have in your kitchen, okay? Um, just let me know, okay? I'm sure you have a blender, steamer, um, chopper, grinder, uh, what is that? A cake mixer, a slow cooker, uh, <laughs> uh, what else? What, weighing scale. That is already so many kitchen appliances in your kitchen. And the best thing is, I'm sure most of you, you hide it in the corner under your cupboard or you hide it up at the top or it's probably all around your countertop. And how many times do you actually really use it? For me personally, it was just there for show because I was like, oh, it looks so pretty, you know, bright color, right? red color, you know, orange color. And then in the end, it's like taking up my counter space, looks so messy, hardly used. You know, and then working, not working, sometimes it's so like, you know, it takes up so much space. Whereas with the Thermomix, it does it all. It, you can even make your own yogurt. It has the fermentation mode. You have the slow cook mode. So if you want to make your stew, you do not have to worry about it being dry and all that. Very, very easy and convenient. Everything is just that one. You don't have to take out one appliance, put back, wash it, put back another appliance, take out another appliance. No. So no excuses that, you know, also hard to make bread. Yeah, it's already in there and they teach you step by step. Okay. All right. So it is definitely your perfect kitchen assistant lifestyle. It doesn't matter whether you are single because in fact, it's a great way because if you even order out like I mentioned it costs so much whereas you can save a lot as you can just cook even for one person you can always change the recipe portions it tells you in the recipe itself how big the portions are so you can always half them three quarter them whatever them so you can always follow the recipe and the best thing is if you have your own recipe right now we have the latest cookie do um what is this uh, update where you can create your own recipe and edit it. So you can get your turun temurun, you know, your, your mother, mother-in-law's recipe and place it in here. Okay, be right back. It's calling me. Okay, next. Wow, I'm already almost done. Yeah, sit down, chit-chat with y'all. Can you see that? Mm, can you smell that? It smells so good. Wow, smells so good in here. Okay. 
All right, so I'm just going to scrape down the sides. Scrape down the sides of it. Okay. All right. Okay, now I'm going to add in the tandoori paste. So this tandoori paste, you can even make on your own. It, um, there's a guided cooking in there that helps you and tells you how to do the tandoori paste. Okay, let's see how much of the tandoori paste is it. Okay, and as you can see, basically I did not um, pre-measure the ingredients because I wanted to show you how easy it is that you can cook directly straight without having to uh, pre-measure your, what is that called? Your ingredients. Okay, and then next we've got the tomato paste. I'm going to put in the tomato paste. Okay, again, it has the weight built-in weighing scale, so I don't have to worry. Just put in, put in. Now, like I mentioned, you can always change the recipe to however you want it. More spicy, less spicy. Okay, next we're going to add in the water. Okay. And then we're going to put in the chicken. Yeah, get my chicken. Okay, so the chicken that I'm using uh, for today is boneless chicken thigh. No, actually, it's good. All right. Then you go next. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. So all this, all you can do according to your taste, how you like it. All right, so now remember the cauliflower that I did earlier? Okay, so I'm going to close that. So my cauliflower, just to show you, is in here right now. See, it looks like rice, right? It's on top. Okay, place it on top. Okay. So it's going to cook for the next couple of minutes. Ah. After this, basically my lunch is done already. Wonderful. So whether you're single, a young family, you know, with kids, it's perfect or a young couple. Honestly, for those young couple who are planning, because now I know it's wedding season, you know, especially the Malays, if you want to give hantaran and all, uh, this is the best hantaran gift. You know why? Because you're already thinking about your wife. You know, you love your wife so much. You don't want her to stress cleaning up the kitchen. Look at my place. It's so nice and clean. I don't have any oil splatter. I don't have to do any cleaning up after this. So, dear husbands, future husbands, please get this hantaran for your future wife. Very, very good idea. And even like friends and family, you know, if you know any young couple, this is the best gift because especially when they're starting a new home, then they don't have to spend so much of money buying all the unnecessary kitchen appliance that we, you know, already have and don't use. Okay. So, that is why it's very, very, very convenient for you to have this. In the beginning, if only I knew about this before I got married, I would have definitely asked my husband for it. And like I said, even for young families, like my six-year-old, she can make bread, she can make um curry, she can make rice. And even two of them actually went live. They did their own show. They took over my IG and they went live to show how they can cook. So they cooked from the beginning till the end. Everything, they put in everything. They kick next, next, next. And then... Voila, they cook for mama. Very happy. And for those um, elderly uh, families or elderly couple, it's really good because um, especially they do not have to spend so long. Look at me, young but still sitting down and cooking. Um, it's very safe because sometimes, uh, even we all as well, the younger generations, you know, we forget that we are cooking something and then we just leave it out there. And then suddenly next thing you know, you're smelling something that's burnt on the stove. Whereas this is very, very safe because it has an automatic shutdown whereby in 15 minutes, if it's left unattended, it will shut down by itself. So very, very smart. All right. So what we're doing right now is um, indirectly also called multi-layer cooking. Okay, so why don't you write me in the comments box? Okay, I see lots of our, um, what is this, followers today. I would like to know more about you. So why don't you share with me? How do you cook your veggie normally? Okay? Because in the thermal mix, we not only have 
the low temperature, but we also have the high temperature. Remember just now when I was using the flash guard? So that was cooking with the high temperature. So what's the difference? Okay, write in the comment box, how do you normally cook your veggie and what oil do you normally use? Do you use olive oil, canola oil? Uh, I don't know what other oils are there, the specialty oil, minyak kelapa sawit ke, whatever. What kind of oil do you normally use to cook? Write down in the comment. Okay, we've got wok to cook and use corn oil. Very good. Okay, what else? What are the different kinds of oil that you use when you cook? Okay, because personally, I know many of us, because we want to lead a healthier lifestyle, so we use olive oil or we use a certain kind of oil, you know. And this type of oil, if you do not cook it at the right temperature, it is actually very dangerous for your health. Okay, and even the fumes that you breathe in when you are cooking is actually very dangerous. So if you know carcinogenic, it's very, very, um, it's not good for our health. And as you can see, I do not have a cooker hood on top of me. So I do not have to worry about smelling the cooking fumes. It's a lot more safer. And whenever you cook veggie, especially like, you know, stir fry broccoli, carrot, sometimes we stir fry, but it is not at the right temperature. So we actually kill the nutrients. So you spend so much of money, you buy all the nice, nice, organic, all the delicious veggie, and then you overcook them, unrealizing it. And then it does not come out as bright as it should be, and the nutrients are not there. So the best temperature to cook veggie is at 120. So yes, I know we all can say, you know, oh, but I cook it the traditional method and everything, but can the, the traditional method cook at 120 degrees? Unless if like, you know, your your helper, if your helper is cooking, I don't think your helper is going to really check, you know, oh, it's 120 degrees, okay, now I can cook the veggie, no, okay, even I don't do that, so let's be realistic, <laughs> okay, so 120 degrees, that's the best temperature to cook your veggie. Now, we also have in here the built-in temperature, which goes up to 170 degrees. However, when you see on this tree dial, Okay. It's only until 120. Why? Because we do not want um, our users to accidentally overcook the, what do you call this? Um, whatever that they're doing, you know, overcook the meat, overcook the uh, veggie, and then causing the machine to spot. So it's been very, very intelligent. So for the 170, the sugar stages, so for all those of you who have little kids, I'm sure you want to make lollipops. Making lollipop is so easy right now. And again, it's a much better option because you know how much of sugar is going into it. And it's a lot better than, you know, buying the lollipops from outside. I mean, you know, kids are kids lah. I mean, as much as we want to control, our time also we ate lollipops and ice cream. Takkan now you don't want them to have it, kan? So it's okay to give your kids sugar once in a while. Um, but the best thing is, why don't you do it yourself? And it's so easy, really. And the kids can also be part of it, making it a learning experience for them. So it's really, really interesting. Now at 160 degrees as well, it's already also set in here, you can actually brown your meat, which means you can more or less like stir fry your meat. Now, we are um, promoting healthy lifestyle cooking. So if you want to deep fry your kropo, your fried ayam, those um, the thermomix does not do. But if you want to like brown your meat, Yes, we do that. So you don't have to worry. So this is the difference of low temperature, healthy cooking and the high temperature as well as the caramelized. So, so if you love like uh, dodol, wajet, things like that, it's very, very easy to do. We even have a recipe in there telling you how to do it step by step. Very, very easy. Wow, if you are sitting here, you can already smell it. It smells so good right now. Ah, what time? Oh, yeah, still not yet time to have my lunch yet. Okay, so, so Thermomix gives you the perfect temperature control. Okay, so what basically this means is that if you ever want to um, heat up your baby food, you can do it at 37 degrees. 
why 37 degrees? Because that uh, the general temperature so that you don't burn yourself and you don't burn your baby. You see, your baby want to makan and then you go and feed them panas. Okay. And melting chocolate. Now, I'm not sure about you all, but like I said, you know, before this, I never cook. I tried. Fail. Every time when I double boil the chocolate, it over boils or never boils. Do not. Okay. All right. It's calling me. Okay. So I'm going to stir the cauliflower. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Amanda, you all look from there, okay? But it's really, really good right now. I'm just going to mix the cauliflower to ensure it's even cooking. Okay. All right, then I'm going to cover it back again. Okay. So we're going to cook it for another couple of minutes more. Okay. So for those of you who have baked, I mean, how many times have you tried to melt your chocolate? Okay, melting your chocolate is something for me, I find it very tricky, especially if you're a newbie. So this honestly, if you're a newbie, whether you're new at cooking, new at baking, it has everything for you. So if you are an expert in cooking, but you can't bake, then not to worry. If you're an expert in baking and can't cook, not to worry because everything is step-by-step -step guided in here. So melting chocolate, the best temperature is 50 degrees so if there's any bakers there please let me know in the comment is it true or not true 50 degrees is the best temperature to melt so that your chocolate is not burnt over melted or under melted if there's such a word okay and then for it um to make uh what is that for already forgot the name creme brulee uh, anyway to dissolve gelatin the temperature is 60 degrees Ah, and then to make your sauce, you can make your own, what is that, hollandaise, bernet, black pepper, ah, you know, all those that you go with the steak that sounds so fancy, okay, those are at 70 degrees so that the sauce is not too thick and not too watery, if not, you know, you know how sometimes when you go to the steak shop and you get a really thick sauce or really watery sauce, not so nice. How many of you are brew? Uh, how, many are, how many of you are tea or coffee lovers? Drop in the comment. Let me see. Where are the tea lovers? Where are the coffee lovers? Okay, I personally am a tea lover. I don't drink coffee at all. My husband is the coffee lover, so he drinks coffee. So I cannot be having, you know, uh, one coffee machine, one tea machine, and then like you know, five hundred other machines, and then in the end, like nobody uses the machine because everybody is busy in the morning. But this is perfect. Because whenever, whoever wants to have tea or coffee, I can actually go to the kettle mode and brew it at that precise temperature. Now, that's the great thing about it. Okay, and like I mentioned just now, kaya spray. Making kaya is so easy right now because it gives you the perfect temperature. Okay, now, like what I, we did earlier just now for uh, sauteing, it's basically at 120. So that's the perfect um, sauteing temperature. Okay, and um, what else? Oh, this one, like I mentioned just now. So 160 degrees is the browning. You will not see it in here, but there is a already preset in there for you. So not to worry. Okay, and also caramelized. So how many of you love salted caramel? Salted caramel, I feel, is a must-have in every hand. It is sinfully good and delicious. You can have it on your popcorn. You can have it on your ice cream. You can have it on, I guess, on everything of salted caramel. And it's so easy to make. And not only that, later, um, we will explain to you more about the pre-clean function. So what I'm going to do is, after this curry is made, I'm going to add in a bit of water. I'm going to add in a drop of dishwashing liquid and it's going to clean for me, which means I don't even have to clean. Again, it's called pre-clean mode. So it will pre-clean for you. And after that, yes, you need to clean, but at least I don't have to keep on scrubbing it really, you know, really hard. So it will just be, you know, roughly, basically more or less the surface pre-clean, which is amazing. So as you can see right now, what is 
what is being done now is called multi-layer cooking, which we will explain more. So the cauliflower is in here, the uh, chicken pula. Yeah, the chicken is in here. And if you want, you can always cook the rice. But like I said, today we're trying something different. This was recommended by the recipe. I'm so interested to try it. So it's going to be cauliflower rice instead. Okay, so I'm going to remove the varoma. Now, whenever you open this varoma, it is very, very hot and the vapor is there. So please do not hurt yourself. Okay, so you want to open it away from you. So just like this. And then the water can fall back in there. Ah, okay. And then a little tip, okay? You see this lid? Because I'm very lazy, I don't have anything on the table. Okay, I'm going to lift this up, okay? And put it on the lid. Ta-da! Just like that. Okay, so we're going to move to the next step. Okay, now I'm going to add in the coconut cream. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm not sure if you all can see, but... Oh, oh, look at that. See, the chicken is nicely cooked. Okay, if I tilt it anymore, the curry is going to spill. Okay. Oh, the smell. It's so good. Okay, so now I'm going to add in the coconut cream. Now this, you can adjust it to how much you want. Okay. So let's just go in. Okay, add in the coconut cream, okay? All right, not too much. Little cholesterol. Okay, next, insert the measuring cup. This is already the final step, see? And it's going to cook for the next two minutes. So, since I'm more or less done basically showing you how to do the chicken curry, how easy it is, I will pass it on to our next pose so that you can see the other dishes and then you have to stay until the end if you want to see how the chicken curry looks like, all right? Wow. So, continue. Thanks, are you all right? So, our next presenter yes, will be Dr. Dr. Erwan, who will be making tom yum curry, uh, tom yum spaghetti, creamy tom yum spaghetti. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Lindsay. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Um, so, welcome everyone to our cooking show. Thank you to Ayu, my uh, partner. So, what I'm going to share with you today is uh, uh, how I always make this um, one pot uh, creamy tom yum pasta. Uh, so, uh, Ayu have already shown you how you can make full use of cookie dough. So, that will be very beneficial for those who don't really know how to cook because all the steps will be shown on this uh, very beautiful screen. Uh -huh. uh, while I'm going to show you the other feature where yeah, I will basically yeah. uh, follow a, a manual recipe. So what you need to do is that you only need to control three elements and these three elements are shown on the screen. So you just need to know uh, the time, uh, the temperature as well as the speed. So these are the ingredients as you can see um, uh, among the many things that I like about Thermomix is because it is very um, space um, Efficient, you don't really need to have a big space. Like what Ayu mentioned, you're going to be only, uh, you, you, you don't need to have a lot of uh, gadgets in the kitchen. So here, as you can see, I'll, I'll be just using this space uh, to prepare uh, the lunch for my family. So my kids love this. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fusion between um, uh, the East and the West. Uh, we are combining pasta and uh, Tom Yum. So um, the ingredients that um, we, we need, it's already shown to you. So let me just um, uh, add them. Um, so first of all, I'm going to put in the, uh, the onion, okay, so we'll be needing the, the onion here, okay, so basically just a half onion cut uh, into cubes, and then the next ingredient would be four, five pieces of garlic, so these are already uh, peeled, all right, and, and cleansed, and um, you can also use um, uh, Thermomix to basically peel off the garlic, uh, so it'll save a lot of time to you, as well as uh, shallots and onions. Uh, the next ingredient will be the bird's eye chili or chili paddy, but uh, I'll just show you, but I don't put it because um, I'm preparing this for my kids and uh, they don't really like uh, spicy food. If you want, you can add, you know, uh, chili paddy, okay, as you like. And uh, we're going to need um, uh, lemongrass, the white part only. So put it, put everything inside. And then uh, we need to put in 10 gram olive oil. So here I'm going to use the scale feature where I simply can add 
okay i can simply measure the the weight okay so 10 gram of olive oil so let's make it go up all the way to 10 gram okay 10 gram olive oil done so now the next part will be to basically uh, blend this okay um blend all the raw ingredients okay so like i said to you uh what we need to do is to control these three elements so let's go back so as you can see on the screen here so the three elements are, i'll be needing uh, five seconds so five seconds temperature let it be we don't need uh, to change the temperature yet and the speed okay i'm going to using uh, five okay basically blend all the ingredients for five seconds okay now it's done let me just uh, share with you how does it looks inside so this would be uh, at the speed of five huh? so it, it can be more powerful can go up all the way to uh, speed 10. okay so let me just uh, scrap it a bit so like what you said, I'll, I'll just try to be just sitting on this side and prepare everything without even having uh, uh, to move. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm ready for the next step. So now we can add. The next step is to add um, the tom yum paste. So I've already measured it. So this would be two tablespoons of tom yum paste. You can find it in any uh, grocery store in Malaysia. So put it there inside. And then the next one would be coriander roots. Okay, so these are among the, the tips uh, of how if you are cooking uh, tom yum, uh, we'll be using uh, the coriander together with the roots. Uh, so I'm going to put, uh, just separate the, the roots, okay, from the, the coriander, okay, put it here, as well as the coriander leaf, put everything inside. And then the, um, that's it. Uh, so this is done. So then uh, I'll add, uh, the uh, the remaining uh, so this one I need to saute it okay for three minutes so again the three elements comes into picture so three minutes three minutes and then uh, for saute uh, we're gonna uh, make it go all the way to 120 and then um, I'm gonna use the spoon of spin so this is the reverse Okay, of the uh, blade so that it will not uh, mince um, whatever that we have put inside. So the blade basically have two sides, okay, the sharp one and the, the opposite is, is blunt. So sometimes whenever you are cooking something uh, like uh, are you cooking chicken, basically you want to make sure that the blade going to be moving in the opposite direction, uh, the, the blunt side so that uh, the thing that you are cooking inside the thermomix, okay, will not be, um, will, will not become powder basically. Okay, so let me just share with you while waiting for the saute to be done a few minutes. Um, uh, among the many features like what Ayu have mentioned earlier, okay, they have this um, uh, with uh, Thermomix, I found that uh, my soups uh, are cooked uh, to the perfect texture, uh, as well as many other things, the, the kaya, the tom yum paste, um, the, the homemade yogurt and the fruit jams. Uh, you can basically control it to be to follow the texture that you like it will always be the perfect texture and so far i'm very satisfied with this because um, i mean the, the the taste and everything is already is, is very well preserved uh, you you can you can always taste them okay um and then um i guess this is uh, what are you uh, my partner have already uh, explained to you she's using this full feature where you can cook everything you know uh, many many uh, one set of meals different dishes okay in just uh, one time at one time simultaneously on top the varoma you can you can uh, you can steam inside you can uh, cook your rice and below you can cook your your soup but what i'm showing you here is a bit different because i'm basically throwing everything in in the pot uh, in in the thermomix uh, in the thermomix so this is what um, uh, you can uh, you can save a lot of time by cooking uh, delicious meals okay everything uh, simultaneously and then um, this is also um, among the many uh, features of Thermomix. It has this function, kettle mode. Okay, I guess that I have also mentioned it. For me, I am a coffee lover. So I always uh, prepare, brew my own coffee in the morning at two, to 95 uh, uh, degrees Celsius. And within a few minutes, my coffee will be ready. And um, it will be really helpful. Some of my uh, friends uh, who have uh, babies, uh, they really love the the. Uh, the perfect temperature for, for preparing their baby food. Okay. Um, 
And then um, we also have the slow cook mood. Okay, uh, I've done this uh, by cooking one of the uh, recipes for rendang uh, uh, during the Hari Raya. So it took uh, eight, uh, um, almost like six hours. So I, I just leave the, the beef and everything uh, at night time and, and I can sleep peacefully and the, the next morning it's already uh, ready. Uh, the, the rendang is already nice, nicely done. And uh, you can, uh, you know, do your slow cooking for up to eight hours. Uh. And these all features will be, um, there will be additional features, additional functions that will be automatically updated uh, from time to time uh, in, the, in the Thermomix, uh, in the cookie do section. Now, that sound means that uh, the saute is already done. So we are ready for the next part. So the next part would be basically to put the remaining items. So what I need now would be uh, the cooking cream. So again, here I'm going to be using the, so you can, uh, if you are here, you can really enjoy the very nice smell of uh, Tom Yum uh, cooking. So now I'm going to use the scale features and I only need 200 cooking cream. So I'm going to put 200 cooking cream okay, inside here. Oops, I need to take it a bit. Okay. So put it here. 200 gram. Okay. Put it 200 gram all the way up. Okay, 200. Oops. Okay. And next will be to put in uh, water, 600 grams. So I'll just press a uh, chair over here. So I'm going to put it uh, 600 gram of water. Okay. Six hundred. Okay, more or less six hundred gram done of water. The next one will be just a tablespoon of uh, a teaspoon. Sorry, a teaspoon of salt. So let me just put a teaspoon of salt inside, and um, just need to add the brown sugar. Okay, so for the brown sugar, I'll be using a uh, two teaspoon. I've already uh, measured it over here, and the next part will be to put in the spaghetti. Now for cooking spaghetti with Thermomix, um, the feature is that uh, you can you have to take off the uh, measurement cup, okay, take it off. And then you need to put in your, um, the, the spaghetti through the, through the hole. Okay, just leave it open over there. And I only need 200 gram. Okay, so let me just try to measure it over here. So more or less, I don't need uh, too much. Okay, so I'm just gonna put uh, it through the measurement hole over here you can see it you know coming up like that and uh, now what we uh, need to do okay is to uh, then um, cook okay for the uh, 20 minutes so I'm going to need again control the uh, elements so the first element I only need 20 minutes okay so hopefully before the uh, show ends, uh, my lunch is going to be ready. Otherwise, I have to go to uh, Ayu's place. Huh? <laughs> Inshallah, it will be ready. And uh, then uh, 20 minutes, um, temperature will be 100. And uh, the speed, okay, will be uh, for speed 1. Okay. So reverse mode. Okay. So for 20 minutes, you can see that the spaghetti is basically dancing on top of the thermomix. So let me just continue just a little bit more with regard to uh, the functions, the other functions of thermomix. So thermomix also have the fermentation mode. So basically for those who like to make your own uh, yogurt your, or you want to try and explore making your own cheese, uh, you can try that. Okay. Um, and uh, tofu fa, so these are among the things that you can try and explore making it on yourself by using the fermentation mode. And a very nice uh, function would be the sous vide mode. Uh, sous vide mode, um, I, I enjoyed uh, the, the sauces uh, made. Uh, I, I mean, we always repeat this uh, menu in our family dinner, uh, the salmon with the uh, white sauce, um, uh, as well as many uh, many other uh, sources that you can explore in cookie do 
and you can make uh, your own uh, boiled eggs okay by by using all these uh, different uh, functions that are available uh, and you can become a professional chef uh, i mean usually the sous vide sous vide function is not really um, you know uh, available i mean it's, it's not really uh, available in many gadgets but with thermomix you can uh, you know have that feeling of becoming a professional chef by making your own um, sauces so uh, i'll just wait for the uh, this uh, to be ready so what i'm going to do next is that within the last 7 minutes within the last 7 minutes in uh, in in uh, about after 10 minutes what i'll do i'll just add uh, the the shrimps that i have prepared as well as uh, the cherry tomatoes and the uh, kaffir lime leaf uh, daun limau purut and um, yeah, so that's it. I'll just sitting here and uh, enjoy um, the other partners. So now back to you, Lindsay. Wow, thank you. So nice to see the dancing pasta. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I will pass to uh, Sally. Um, she will be showing us how to whip up a nice pavlova. Sally. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. My name is Sally. I'm from uh, Alpha Branch. And thank you to the host, and also thank you to my fellow friends, Chef. So I agree with uh, Ayu, he says that uh, with uh, Thermomix TM6, we can prepare healthy food. And also, I agree with Dr. Irwan that always a space. Okay, but for me, I always have mood. So today, I, why I bring my touch screen Thermomix TM6 here in front of piano, because if I I let my kitchen rest today. So I bring it my touch screen uh, kitchen here. So, and also you can bring um, your mobile kitchen everywhere in the house you want. Okay, today I'm going to prepare, I want to show you um, step by step and guided uh, uh, dessert called Pavlova. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, what we have to know is that before we do the pavlova, pavlova is a meringue based dessert. Okay, and then before we start, we have to know that first your bowl must be very, very clean, not even one drop of water or any kind of fat or also the um, um, uh, well, yellow, yellow. Um, yellow eggs, okay? So what you have to do, I already want, in fact, with the vinegar. So this is tips where you can take the vinegar like this, okay? And you wipe it up. You wipe up clearly and then very, very clean. Okay, me, I already cleaned it before. And then after that, I insert, because I insert the butterfly. Butterfly is, in fact, it's a waste. Is this very important to work your uh, white eggs? So, like I you explained just now, how you uh, install and lock this butterfly inside? You just put, and that's the highest part of the blade between the four. So you put just in between, like this. So it's locked. Now we let's go on to do the pavlova. Before I have this thermomix TM six. I used to have a problem, do the pavlova with my uh, uh, mixer. So I use like waste. And then, but with this, I have no problem at all. It's a very, very easy method. Do you know why? You can just sit down here and then all the ingredients, you just follow step by step. Even if you know how to cook or even you don't know how to cook or for those ages that you want to cook, for example, like uh, young people, old people or new people, they can just follow the guided, uh, a recipe, which is from the cookie dough platform. I'll explain you later what is cookie dough and all that. Okay, let's get started. Here, I followed this recipe. It says that I need uh, eight uh, eggs, but for this show, I'm going to use only half. Okay, so we need for the meringue base, pavlova is only sugar, the ingredients, and also the white eggs. The white, white eggs normally, I do one day before, makes the white eggs become old. So I put four eggs today. I put in the fridge for the whole night to become old. And then this morning, half an hour or about 
40 minutes before the show. So I bring it up into the temperature room. So now I put the white eggs, okay? It is very easy, okay? And then next, you see one pinch of cream tartar. Why we need this cream tartar for is to stabilize the white egg. There's two agents to stabilize cream of tartar and also vinegar so that your uh, melons become fluffy and then the uh, outsides will be crispy and inside will be marshmallow. And also I put a little bit um, uh, salt. Even though in this recipe, it says no salt sometimes, but I put a little bit salt. Just to, why I put a salt? Just to balance between the sweetness and also the, uh, the taste. And next, you see, insert measuring cup into mixing bowl, then yeah, I put, this is the lid, and this is the MC mix uh, measuring cup. In fact, you can measure through here, but I already for the show, I just measured it earlier. I use normally, the sugar is, uh, normally it's 220, but like I use it, it's for the help. I cannot take a lot of sugar. So I reduce from 300 to 150, 260. And this smells very sweet. And then next, instant measuring cup. Five minutes for the time, only five minutes. And we use this time temperature. But this one we use the 37 degrees because 37 degrees, like I and my fellow friend explained that this is like a baby food and it's not to burn the meringue, it's very fragile. So why in this recipe cookie dough, we use 37 degrees. And the speed, in fact, if you, this here, it says 3.5. Why is 3.5? It's because the waste cannot be more than four. So, and you have a choice also to use like 2.5, so make it slow, slowly, that is better. But we follow the guided step-by-step -step, uh, method. So it says 3.5, we on to 3.5. Voila, we just relax. We don't have to see, like we just sometimes, you know, we just understand. So we wait for five minutes. Okay. While waiting for the five minutes, I'm going to explain you that for a uh, couple of hours, you have to preheat the oven. Normally, it's about 150 degrees. And then when, while you want to cook, you have to reduce to 120. But some people uh, do 100 degrees because if you do uh, put the oven too high, so your meringue, okay, your plavova, when it's cool, it's going to be deflated very fast. So that's why you need to know and uh, experience and be gentle with your uh, oven because different oven is a different um, uh, types, okay? With uh, different heat. Okay. Just now when I say to you that about the cookie dough, what is cookie dough? Well, we're waiting to do like this. Why we need? Because this machine, Timonix, is connected to Wi-Fi, it's connected to Kukidu. What is Kukidu? In fact, Kukidu is a platform where it's connected to your handphone that's direct to the machine, where you can, we call it that recipe library. You can have like seven for now, you can have seven for thousand, even French, Italian, and all over the world. Let's say, for example, if you want to do a pasta, normally you can see a lot from Italian and it's Italian. So, the language, you can just go to your computer and then you uh, translate it direct to your phone and direct to the machine, touch this machine. So, not to worry about that. In fact, it gives your life easier. So, if we are not with you today, while waiting, I can just play piano. And then you can do other things. And Okay, so it's connected all the time. In fact, now uh, we have a version of um, cookie do uh, tree where, for example, you have your own recipe. So you can build your own recipe and uh, you can step by step and speak to your uh, platform. 
So how is easy? Lesson two and now is two. For example, I make it a mover. So I, that's the second thing that like just now I see the recipe, there's no uh, salt. So my recipe, my own that I have tasted before, I want to put salt and I want to put like really sugar. So I just um, take the step that I already done down here. So I copy it and then I will put my ingredients and follow step by step. Or even if you want to follow step by step from here, you can have your own step. This is how to keep you is so, so convenient. Like I even explained uh, explain just now. Okay, so that you can just connect it to your handphone. How it is easy. You can plan your meal, meaning you can plan your meal. Okay, um, let's say for example, you have no eggs, so you put you put a shopping list. This is shopping list, just connected to your handphone. And after that, you go to the shop and you uh, just open your phone and you can do it. It's easy. And also, you know, for the cooking international platform, it's all the recipe are all there. Okay, it's connected directly to the machine, to the uh, thermomix, so that they give you, when you subscribe to Cookie Do, they give you normally it's one month for trial, but upon purchase, they give you six months uh, subscriptions. And after the six months, okay, you have to subscribe. It's not so uh, expensive, it's about 40 or 39 US dollars, about 140 per year. So you divide per month. It's nothing when you come back to the functions, 24 functions of uh, Thermomix, TMX, or Thermomix. So I found that it's really, really um, useful for me, even though basically I love to cook. But with this uh, Thermomix, make myself easier. I can bring it everywhere I want. I can go back to Kampu and bring it, okay? And then I can go uh, holidays and bring this. And even I want to cook inside my bedroom. Or uh, next to it, I can, I can bring it because you know what? You don't, you don't have to smell. Okay, you can this. You can create a, a recipe as you wish. Okay. Voilà. Now it's finished. Okay. At this time, I'm going to be very, very uh, careful because I don't. He said without the measuring cup. I'm going to show you how it happened. Hello. You see why you talk talk? Okay, this is, we call it soft pick. We want to become like hard pick after this and we continue. It's not finished yet, okay. Okay, now we put back. This is, this part is very crucial where you cannot leave. Just now you can leave. This one you cannot leave because you're going to put sugar but normally some people with this recipe you put a uh, powdered sugar even you can pulverize which is special but i use to do uh, custard sugar which is very refined so i did not to uh, uh, pulverize it to become powder so without the measuring cup okay you're gonna put the sugar bit by bit five minutes the next just next five minutes still the temperature there is heaven and then the speed is just three why reduce 3.5 to 3? Because you are going to put uh, sugar slowly. Okay, now we start. I'm going to put sugar slowly during the uh, five minutes preparation. Okay, voila. Okay. So, why were we? At all about but it's just that you need an oven. Okay. The sugar normally for why people use uh, a lot of sugar, like in the shop, normally, you know, it's like when I, I cannot taste the uh, bubble wine in the shop because it's too sweet. You just need a 300 grain because you don't want you want your plavova to become back very hot. It's because of the sugar. Okay. So you can see after the hurry apple, I put slowly. Slow, slowly make your sugar uh, incorporate with the white eggs. Voila. Mm. So with the temperature, it slowly will 
make your ah you see you make your pub lover very shiny and stable it could compare when you do with the whisk it's good also it's just that it doesn't cook this is like a telly method where you put the sugar Slowly, slowly. And with this machine also, you know what? I'm waiting for this. You can need, for those who love baking, this is the perfect machine, okay? Anything that you want it. For example, you want to do like um, bread, soft buns, anywhere in the world. You just search for cookie the platform. Touch it, for example, you want to do a hazelnut uh, uh, bread and it appears automatically like that. And also, let's say you, have, you see in your, your, your kitchen, you say, ah, oh, today I don't know what to cook. So you see what you have in your kitchen, in your, especially in your company, you need your fridge. So you say, oh, I have uh, cauliflower. And also I have like a little bit of project. I mean zucchini, then you platform type zucchini like this. You can see it appeared all break zucchini, pasta zucchini, like so you can give you an idea. You will definitely will not run out of idea. Okay. I tell you. Like me, I'm so happy about that. using this. Slowly it goes. Okay, that is in the way. And after this, okay, after it's finished in five minutes, this is it. This is time where after this, you are going to mold your problem. Okay, let it finish first. Are you mold? You just, uh, okay. In fact, is anybody can cook with this economics? Uh, Even my my boys, I say, hey, you want to do your own cookies? I teach you because it's safe, it's locked. And I say, okay, you uh, for Gabriel uh, do not, okay? And then he do not. You do his cookies. They say he doesn't wait for me. We just the oven. I I, I like this. But if it is a smoothie or the drinks, he just take 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 him, okay? Get the recipe and done. Meaning. Your husband also you have to do like And then it is in the same time. And in fact, we can uh, eat as healthy food. So. Okay? Because not at the time that you go to the restaurant, of course, it's only also expensive. And also, not on, on top of that expensive, uh, you sometimes eat uh, something that you don't like. like for example, I told you that have blah, blah, is so much like uh, sugar. Okay? And in fact, with this machine, you can do ice cream. I already do ice cream uh, last time. Uh, ice cream, uh, 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 chopping. I do salt there. I do wonders with that. I do vanilla. And also, I do, uh, I do ice cream uh, 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 pistachio. It's very, very nice with this. Perfect for you to uh, create your own recipe. And for... Uh, Every day you, you want to cook. Okay, now you see slowly. Okay. Meanwhile, slowly and reserve ice and sugar. One spoon is fine, finish. And then he says that, okay, without the machine measuring cup again, you haven't finished yet. Okay, you want to see? Oh, it's like this, it's like tornado. When it's like tornado, meaning your meringue is okay. It's good. The good sign is that you become like tornado like this. Okay, and then we continue. 30 seconds, you want me, you have to put like this. This is the stabilized agents, um, vinegar, and also the confla. Why put confla? It's the crispy up and um, chewy inside. So these two agents, you must put. Okay, now we put step, turn speed selector to speed three. You must be very fast. So I put vinegar, I already measured two spoons. 
two teaspoon and it's a two teaspoon of uh, flour. It's very easy. You just visualize it like this. Right here. You don't need all the equipment. Just one machine for the function. Everything is there. Just need an oven to go smoke a little bit. Stick to you. Okay? So, what you want for the palm of anomaly is crispy outside and chewy inside. So, don't forget to put the edges just now. Like, uh, if you don't want to put like uh, vinegar, you can put lemon. Okay, we go straight to do the. Now it's the fun time. Voila, you see how it is very fast. You see? No need to see all the how it happened. Just inside that. Okay, now. Cream. Okay, so I'm showing you how you want to bake. I already reduced to 120. You just put like this. In fact, this is a paper. You know, you put around how, how many centimeters you want. But this one is only like eight centimeter. So when it's cooked, it's become like nine or ten. So you just put like this. Yes, you see, it's very easy. It's like a, you build a house. It's like cement, you know. Uh, I teach you to be patient also with your quiz, Pavlova. Uh, voilà. Okay. And 120 degrees off to the oven. Okay. You can uh, remove the butterfly, but I think I want to make it fast for us. So I leave it like this. Still, I can manage to get all this out. Okay. You see? It's very, very fast. Mm -hmm. Voila. Just four eggs, okay? If you put like eight eggs, it can be good. You can, this one also, we get it like four to five percent, you know? It depends how much. But my son, half of it finished. Voila. So now, it's time for you to decorate. You can put inside the piping bag also to do like bassery, you know, like this. But it's easy. I just, I just do like this. Wow. Voila. And then you do like this. Okay. Off to the oven for an hour of 30 seconds or one hour, 20 minutes to make it cook. Okay, like this. okay. But anyway, I want to show you that I already prepared before earlier. Okay, well, this is how it looks. Okay, now we off to the oven. Hello, hi there. You see, it's already happened yesterday. I prepared so fast, okay, one day earlier before you eat. But this time, I'm going to show you how to do the toppings. This is the fun, very really fun type. I like it. But I like to take a lot of creams. You know, we call it cream shanty or baby cream. So I got another bowl. I already have a butterfly, the same thing. So this time I'm gonna do manual. You have also inside that. Yes, I want to do the cream. Then you see the three function here. I put one hour, one minute, sorry, one minute and 45 seconds. Okay, one minute, 45 seconds. Okay, one minute, 15. You don't have to put temperature because it's uh, to, uh, to do the cream. Cream on top. It's just one minute to do the cream. And you don't have to see, oh, how it happened. It just look like this. But don't leave it after it become butter. So this is uh, 400 grams. But some of the recipes say 150, 200. In fact, it's up to you how much you want. But me, I like love cream. So this is dairy cream. is animal-based. 
But anyway, you can use for vegans, you can use also non diary. Okay. Okay. I put a little bit vanilla to make it a very nice because just now the pavlova I don't put in the tree, obviously. Okay. And this one is powdered sugar. Okay, I just use one tablespoon. It's not so uh, so uh, money, not so sweet, okay? That's all. Let's see how it happens. But this one I have to stick clearly. Okay. Put the measuring cup. Remember, no um, temperature. And I put 2.5. I don't want to put three because I want it to see how the whipping cream become dense. I don't want to mix too much with water. It's just nice to put on top. Okay, I put like uh, 2.5. See? Okay, if you use this machine, okay, if you use this uh, Thermomix, you can see like liquid, you can listen from your ears. You cannot leave this machine at this time. Okay, you listen, it's like, like water running. So this is not a cream yet. When it become one minute after, then it's become cream. Okay. So uh, during my tips, you know, for my tips, if you do like a non diary sometime, the cream is become very dense, very dense. And uh, compared to the non diary, but for this, I use non diary because that's only I have in the fridge. Uh, I use um, Anchor. Okay, you can use other brand as well. And then, okay, while waiting. Okay, hi, Sally. So you'll be um, preparing the cream. Once the cream is done, you will decorate the pavlova, right? Yes, because All the right. pavlova just now is in the oven. So okay. but I will prepare pavlova earlier. Okay. okay, I just want to show you. This one is going to finish in a few seconds, the cream on top. So I'm going to see it. How it becomes. This is a fun time where we can decorate your pavlova, okay? So just in 10 minutes, so I have uh, berries, blueberries. And I have like a strawberry and kiwi. Nice. Does anyone know why we copa blova? Let me know. Why this is a copa blova? It's finished now. Okay. okay. Anyone knows why it's become a copa blova? It's because from Anna Pavlova is a Russian dancer, ballerina, who traveled during 1920s to New Zealand and Australia. Just to honor her, okay, her, uh, what she's doing. So this Australian make this dessert for her, for her name. So that's what become the name Pavlova. Okay, in fact, it is an Australian dessert. You see, it's very nice. Okay. Wow. Yes, it's happened. You don't have to worry about that. I think sometimes, you know, with the machine, at the machine, you have to worry. But also here, in this uh, thermomix, he says that you have to see by yourself and then, uh, okay, uh, you have to see by yourself until the cream become dense. But for me, I already time up. Dance meaning one, one minutes 45 actually, but this one is already like a little bit more. Okay. Okay, Sally, I'll leave it to you to decorate. Okay. I'll pass to the pass to myself All right. to show a recipe. Okay, oh, we'll come back later. Come back right. later, guys. Don't um go anywhere. We want to see the end result of Pablo Bar. Okay. Hi everybody, yeah, I'm so excited to see all the 
end result of all the food. Okay, before I finish off the uh the you know the the show, I want to make a uh, coffee cream. All right. So today our team is all about cream. So coffee cream is a drink. All right. So let's start cooking. I've saved this recipe in um in cookie do. Okay, start cooking. So it's a tear. Two ounces of sugar, so it can the matrix goes by um ounce or you know or, or gram, but don't worry, you just tear according to the um in the machine, all right. So I won't use two ounces, I will use half because I don't want my um, drinks to be so sweet. Okay, so I'll put it in right. So next one to two teaspoon of instant coffee. Let's see. So right. Next, so it says insert measuring cup. Okay, next. So what it's going to do is 10 seconds, it has fixed for me the time, the speed, speed 10. So it's going to grind my sugar and um, coffee together into really fine. Next, done. So quick. Okay. So it says to scrap it down. Let me see. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So um, you know, it can grind to really little amount of or a lot of amount. This recipe is for uh two cups. So you see, it's such a big bowl, but you can also do a little quantity. Right, so next. So it says add in eight ounce of whole milk frozen in cubes. So last night I already freeze um my milk. Okay, I have it frozen in cubes, so I'm gonna put it in. So I use fresh milk. Okay, next. So it says insert measuring cup. Okay, let me just go back. Okay, next insert measuring cup. The lid and next. So it's going to start blending for 20 seconds. Next, okay, scrape down with the side. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Look, wow. Okay, scrape down. Wow, this is so fun. Okay, so I basically has, have a crushed um, milk frozen milk in here right okay so next insert butterfly whisk okay so insert butterfly whisk okay next insert measuring cup insert the lid so it has set for me so it's going to whisk into a uh, cream form all right so three is fixed for me three minutes there's no temperature to speed four it's so well it's whisking i hope you can hear me it's a bit loud so what it did just now it was really quick it helped me to um you know blend the um the sugar and the coffee into really fine powdered form so the power the machine is so powerful the motor is so powerful the motor is so powerful it can grind your spices, your sugar, your coffee beans, you know, your um, 
um, you know, your flour, if you don't have rice flour at home, you just take your grain, rice and, um, grains and you just put it in your thermomix and it grinds into, mean for you into flour form, so, alright? Okay. So let me let you continue with the rest of the uh, slides. Okay, so what are the um, what are the benefits of cooking with Thermomix? All right, so so since from the beginning of the show, I'm sure you have seen um, all of my teammates. You know they've made um, they made really fast. They made from main course to dessert, and now I'm making a drink, which you know coffee cream drink, which takes less than five minutes. So it saves a lot of time. It's quick and easy. It is, um, and it has auto washing as well, so you don't have to wash, you know, after you knead your, uh, knead your bread, knead your um, butter icing, you know, mix your butter icing. You don't have to worry about washing because Thermomix has a auto cleaning function like what I mentioned just now. And it's also healthy because of the low temperature cooking. All right. And goodbye to cooking fumes. There's no more cooking fumes. It's all you see is steam can coming out from the thermomix. So, so you can eat healthily. And the best of all is you save so much money from buying 20, 30 kitchen appliances that we never use. Most of the time, we're all uh, keeping it in the cabinet. You know, we only take it out once in a while when we want to use it. And it saves a lot of space in our kitchen. So our kitchen will look neat and tidy and not cluttered with uh, all the appliances, okay? So these are the benefits of cooking with Thermomix, right? So how do you earn all your Thermomix today? We have a few um, payment plans. You can um, go with full payment. So full payment is 7188, but like I mentioned this now, there's 200 ringgit of um, Voucher, so now it's 6988. If you pay with full payment online, you get uh, a free gift. You get the thermal the thermal server, this beautiful thermal server. All right. Okay, let me continue with my drink first. I'll continue the rest in the shop. Wow. Okay, let's see. All right. Wow. Look at how creamy is that? Wow. So it says, look, so from just frozen milk cubes and some sugar and coffee, look at how smooth and creamy it is. Let me just divide it into two. So creamy, yes, I know. Look at that. So you see, when you have guests, um, when you have guests coming over at home, and you can you imagine you whip up this thing for them, they're like, wow, what time did you do that in less than you know five minutes? So I have prepared um I have prepared some whipping cream. So literally less than five minutes. So I prepared some whipping cream. So just pipe it out. Look at that. One second. So let's shave some. Yes, don't need to go to Starbucks anymore. Correct. So let's shave some coffee. Cocoa powder. And look at that, while I'm talking to you, I made this. How fast it is. Okay, let me keep it in the fridge first before it melts it up. Melts. Okay. Let me keep this in. So while I, um, it keeps here, it can actually keep it um, cool for quite a while. So this mixing bowl is really good. Right, let me continue. 
So I was talking about the um, thermal server. So you make full payment, you get this beautiful 2.2 liter thermal server, okay, made with this really high quality stainless steel. Okay, you can keep your food warm or cold for a few hours and it's worth 360 ringgit. So don't miss it. It's everyone, everyone's favorite gift, the thermal server. Or you can go for our financial planning up to nine ringgit a day. You can um, check with your advisor who invite you today. All right. And also don't forget this basic cookbook is, is, is included in your Thermomix when you purchase it. It's a fantastic book. Gives you a lot of tips and recipes, you know, and traits and how to um, cook your, make your own, um, cook yourself, you know, how to create your own recipe, what speed, what temperature. Okay. So what is the complete package? Like you mentioned earlier, you get all of this, you know, all of these accessories and then you get access to cookie do and then you get to access to our alpha branch um, VIP cooking classes, we hold uh, cooking classes every once or twice a month, twice a month. And then you get free unboxing services from us, you know, it can be online or it can be at your home and it's free delivery nationwide. And also um, you have this uh, online recipe community, which is included and personal advisor support. We are there for you, we are there for you to support you. If you've got any problem, you know, if you have any concern or you want to have ideas and tips your advisor will be all, will always be there for you and also you have a two years warranty for home use uh for home use uh thermomix that means you, if you use it at a commercial area like restaurant it's one year all right so or if you see if you like what you're seeing today like us you know we've been a user in the beginning and then we really love the Thermomix, we believe in the Thermomix and we want to share these uh, amazing kitchen appliances with our friends and families. We want them to eat healthy, you know, we, we, we want, you know, we try and tell them to stop ordering so much food. Those friends that you see, they're always ordering bread, you know, spending a lot of money. You know, they decided, so we have a few custom, a lot of customers who decided to become an advisor to share the love and joy of Thermomix, you know. And it's really a rewarding career. You get a lot of incentives from the company and, you know, you get monthly income from four to six figure a month. And also you get to have a lot of, um, you get to work flexible hours and you get to meet a lot of people, you know, friendly, like-minded friends, you know, who loves to cook, who loves to share the joy of cooking. So if you want to join us, you know, start your kickstart your career with Thermomix, inform your advisor who invited you here, and they she he or she will tell you the guide you on how to become an advisor. Okay. So and who will you um, you know, as a token of appreciation, if you purchase a Thermomix today, um, who would um, you host your and you host a uh, a cooking show after your um, purchase, as a token of appreciation, the company will give this free gift. This is the free gift, which is available right now and is ending soon, ending in a week time. So don't miss it and we are low in stock. This, we will not be able to find this uh, Varoma Perfect, Perfect Fit series in Malaysia, right? This is all, these are all important and it's a uh, limited edition. So what you have in is a Varoma steaming tray, all right? You got, just let me show you. Varoma steaming tray. So you have this Varoma steaming tray who fits perfectly into your in the um, aroma dish, okay, look, fits perfectly, you can put a fish in, you can put your egg, you know, your tofu, so this is a fantastic tray, okay, and we have this, um, there's so many gifts, there's six gifts inside, okay, we have the silicone mold, you can put it in the oven or in your aroma uh, set, okay, you can steam, you know, you can steam your cupcakes, your, uh, you know, some Chinese quiz. You can also put it in the oven so it's flexible, all right? And you have this, um, 
Wow, there's so many gifts. So you really shouldn't miss out this uh, great um, opportunity, you know. And this one, another um, type of um, silicone mold, okay, this mold for cupcakes also can be in the oven or perfectly fits in your Varoma tray, okay, in your Varoma dish. All right, and you have this high quality stainless steel trivet, okay, is to lift up your um lift it up so you can have all these ventilated uh, holes uh, unblocked so you can put a plate on when you're steaming your fish your vegetable your meat your chicken this is a high quality stainless steel um trivet okay and lastly you have all of these sheets recyclable baking paper where you can wash it and reuse it, okay? Which fits nicely onto your Varoma frame, all right? So you have holes as well, so you let the steam go through when you're steaming your egg, your fish, your food, all right? So this is a amazing pulse gift. So don't miss it, all right? You can find it in Malaysia. It's all important and it's limited time, so... Purchase your thermomix today and host. Invite three friends, okay? Who should you invite? You should invite everyone. I say everyone. Everybody should have a thermomix at home. Either you love to cook or you don't know how to cook or those who, you know, chefs, you know, chefs, you know, Gordon Ramsay have a thermomix, you know, he's using thermomix for his restaurant. And then people who you think who are on a diet, on a special diet, and then to when people... Family who have elderly at home, you know, they have to um, special diet restriction or you want to eat healthy or those with children at home, you know, it's really fun to have a Thermomix at home because it's a great bonding time with children. Children can cook like what I said, the children has been using it, you know, to make simple food for themselves and it's really fun. So recommend Thermomix to all your friends, you know, we have weekly shows, weekly Zoom shows, invite them to watch our weekly Zoom shows, all right? So a big thank you to everyone today who take time to join our cooking show today. Sorry, it was a bit long today because of all the fantastic recipes that we want to show. So without wasting more time, let's go back to our chefs and see what's happening. Let's go back to IU. Okay. IU. Hi everyone. So again, it was so easy. My chicken curry is already done. I've actually started eating. Um, I put it inside the thermal server so that it's nice and warm. So this is the rice cauliflower. Interesting. And another healthier option instead of eating it with rice. And then this is the chicken curry. I better be careful. That's the chicken curry. Let me just see that. You see the chicken curry? Ah, looks so good, right? And guess what? So while the other partners were um, explaining as well, what I did was I added a couple of, uh, sorry, some water, uh, one drop of dishwashing liquid, a bit of orange in there, and look at how clean and there is no smell in my mixing bowl. So after this, I can make a drink, I can make, Maybe pavlova because I saw Sally make it look so easy and nice. So before I continue, thank you so much for joining us. We'll move on to our next partner to showcase what they have made. All right. Thank you, Ayu. Let's go to Dr. Irvan. Hi. Oh um, hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Um, so good. I'm coming for lunch or so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> so this is um, the, what I have uh, shown you today. Um, uh, three minutes of saute and 20 minutes of the pasta dancing. So now it's ready. Uh, and also while waiting for the others, I've also uh, basically uh, used the uh, pre-cleaning uh, function. And now uh, my Thermomix is also ready uh, for to, to cook any other things and uh, my kids can't wait. So um, this would be, I hope you can see it. So it's a, the yeah, smell is very amazing. nice. Yeah, so I really love this uh, recipe and uh, again, you know, Thermomix give you control over time and this is something that I really love because uh, for that 20 minutes of uh, dancing, I can do uh, a lot of uh, things and also if you, if you choose the right recipe, it can also give you control over your money. 
you know, wow. because I have four kids. So this is something that I really appreciate. I I, I like about Thermomix. So thank you for coming. Thank you, Lindsay, for hosting us. Thank bye you, bye. Everyone. And to you, Sally. Sally, so beautiful. So give me a few seconds. This is a lot of hard work, you know, after you do pavlova because there's a fat inside, you know. So we have the cleaning, like I use it, that's a cleaning method. Just want to show wow. you. Okay, you have a dove, you have universal, you have fat caramel and brownie. So for the cleaning, and it's perfect. So before perfect. the final touch, I'm going to do like pre-Christmas. Okay. Wow. Let's start the snow. Let's snow. <laughs> Voila, this is my pavlova. Are you, you can eat. It's not so, so sweet. I See, love sorry, my pavlova. <laughs> so, hey God. Beautiful. Nice. You can nice. do whatever with another fruit as well. Thank you, uh, guys, thank for you. coming. Thank you. And thanks you for the chefs. Thank you, chefs, and thank you, everyone, for coming. Yes, perfect Christmas dessert, perfect Christmas present, also Thermomix. So, please get mm. your Thermomix today and enjoy all the wonderful gifts and contact your advisor. Your advisor will be contacting you um, later on to purchase your Thermomix. Bye, everybody.